This is a snickerdoodle protein ball. Feels like today is the start of a new chapter. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We just got back from visiting where I grew up for Memorial Day weekend and my mom's birthday. My mom's birthday actually fell on Memorial Day this year, so it was nice to have a three day weekend and spend time with her. I've only seen my parents once since the pandemic. I was unable to go home during the holidays because my mom actually got COVID. Uh, my childhood dog, she's 14 now and she usually hates people, but she's blind now. She couldn't tell that Carl, my boyfriend, was there, so she didn't give him any grief this time, which <laughs> I was really happy about. She's a lot more mellow now that she's blind. I think little dogs live generally longer, so I, I don't think she's like really on her way out, but I'm kind of enjoying her more chill mood now that she's she's a little old. <laughs> it just rained all weekend. It was actually really annoying. I was still able to get my running in. All in all, it was a really good trip. I haven't had like a good trip home in years now. I'm gonna put like a montage of the footage here. My day job which is work from home this might look so weird I always need to have a snack after work and I usually will just have some frozen vegetables and I will reheat them and then add like rice or beans or something and then add some kind of like sauce or seasoning so today I have peas with chickpeas and a little bit of tahini and apple cider vinegar and everything but the bagel seasoning. I just like to keep my stuff really simple and if I only have to use a microwave and just like mix stuff with a spoon then it, it might look kind of weird but this is what I like to eat. I like simple foods. Oh my goodness! <gasps> He's yelling. I thought I might feel really refreshed after the three-day weekend and I did until I reopened my work computer. Still not feeling great. I feel like I'm stretched really thin right now. I don't know if I would feel as much like this if I was here this weekend and doing work. I didn't do anything when we were at my parents' house and I usually do work on the weekend for either a full-time job or plants on fire. I'm one of those people where it's like, oh, I, I got your text, I just didn't text you back because I'm too overwhelmed to type out a text. 
I think part of my problem is I haven't gone for a walk today. I did go to the gym this morning. I'm still on top of my workouts because that is the only thing that makes me feel like a real person. A lot of my confidence comes from working out. So if I don't work out in the morning, then I don't feel as confident. But I did have a pretty nice big workout this morning. I did my Pilates and that really has been making me feel grounded when everything else kind of like falls apart. I'm like, at least I did my Pilates this morning. Me and Carl have our date night tonight, so I'm excited for that. Hopefully it doesn't rain. So I don't know where we're getting food from, but I just like our date nights no matter where we eat. I just haven't felt like being in front of a camera. I mean, I can just leave it at that. I just have not felt like turning on a camera and, and looking at myself. I actually did make a video on how to enjoy running, um, which I'll like put it up here somewhere. But I realized that I, I've talked about my business for like three vlogs now, but haven't actually shown you guys what the protein balls like look like. Um, so I have some that I just recently made right here. So this is a snickerdoodle protein ball that I make under the name Plants on Fire. This ball is 100 calories and it has six grams of protein in it. It's made of dates, almonds, pea protein, cinnamon, a little filtered water, and some sea salt. Whole food plant-based, vegan, there's no oil, there's no added sugar, which is how I prefer to eat. I make them all myself right now, but I'm exploring options on how not to make them all myself. I still love making them. It's just at the stage that I'm at right now, you have to rent a kitchen space or you have to find a kitchen on your own through like a friend or connection or something who you can share and rent out because it's illegal to make food at your house in Philly and sell it. The kitchen that I'm at right now is not bad since the panini. They're not open on Sundays, which is the day that is easiest for me to go in and just do a bunch of work. So now I have to kind of fit it into my Saturday schedule and it's not bad but it's just it's not always available and they close at four on saturday so it is tough and it's a little bit more expensive than i would like so yeah i'm exploring other options i mean this is no state secret we're coming out with new packaging in the next few months and a new flavor so i think when i make a bigger sales push once those things are in place then i'll start looking more seriously at not making everything myself. Time will tell. A lot of people like to use the cliche, building a business is like driving a car and building it while it's driving or flying a plane and building it while you're taking off. Some bullshit like that. Um, that's, it's true. But anyway, Snickerdoodle is my biggest seller. I usually keep my balls in the fridge. <laughs> but I do like to heat this up and drink it with almond milk at night. You just heat it for like five seconds and it gets really like, almost like a cookie inside because of the almonds. I feel like the snickerdoodle tastes kind of like cinnamon toast crunch. Yeah, that's um, this is my product and you can purchase it below if you want. Actually, you know what? If you're interested and you don't want to purchase online, let me know what stores you want to see these balls in and I will do my best to get them in there or figure out how to get them in there at some point. I do have barcodes now with the new packaging so I'm able to sell into larger accounts because like if you 
try to sell to like Whole Foods or Sprouts or something, you cannot sell into there without a barcode and that you have to pay for barcodes a lot of money. So hopefully with this revised packaging with the barcode, this packaging will take us into larger accounts later down the line once the operational things are kind of buttoned up. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys these balls. Definitely do let me know uh, if you want to try them. I'm going to make my smoothie bowl and continue with my work day now. has really been all over the place. I just want to end it here. I hope it turns out okay. I feel like I have a bunch of random stuff in here that I didn't want to lose but felt like it might not be cohesive. I'm not sure. I'm actually going to a small work event for my nine to five meeting my co-workers for the first time. I started this job in August. So it's been about 10 months in and none of us have met in person, but we all live in the same city for the most part. So that should be interesting. And then after that, I'm going over to my friend's house who I actually haven't seen since before the pandemic, which is crazy because we live like 20 minutes away from each other. So I'm excited to see her. We're both vegan and very into Real Housewives of New York. So that footage that you saw yesterday. I am preparing for a production run tomorrow. So yesterday I picked up the dates from my wholesaler down here. Philly actually just relaxed the mask mandate. So we do not have to wear masks anymore. And it really feels like today is the start of a new chapter. I feel like it's even more fitting to end the vlog here then. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're interested, if you wanna see more. Let me know if you wanna see anything specific or if you want me to elaborate on anything, you can leave a comment below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.